Hello everyone, and welcome back to Toku Toy Theory, where I take a look at the toys from various Tokusatsu shows, and figure out why they look and act the way they do, both in and out of series. So, this time will be the second part of my look at Kamen Rider Forte, where we'll look at his first 10 extra switches and modules, as well as his first form change, Elect State, and its weapon, Billy the Rod. So, let's get started. Number one is the Rocket Switch. This is a circle switch, and it is orange in color. So each Astro Switch is based on something related to their module. Usually a kind of switch or device, but sometimes the module itself. For the Rocket Switch, it's based on a remote ignition switch for a rocket. And to activate it, you press down on it. So, we'll insert into the circle slot. And switch on. This equips Forza with the rocket module. True to its name, it's based on an unmanned rocket, or a rocket ship, and it is uh, very much something that would be uh, quite useful, and is probably the most useful in terms of the practical purposes for the modules, at least for space exploration, as because this is essentially a rocket condensed down to an arm attachment. This could potentially allow the user to, of the suit to travel into space by themselves, or to travel through space without the need for a shell or spaceship. And, since the first, or rather, since is the first module, and the port for the circle modules, is orange, it's natural orange in color. Each module also has its respective shape somewhere on it. For the rocket module, it's here on the port. Two is the launcher switch. This is a cross switch, which is painted blue in color, and is based on a missile firing lever. To activate, you pull it forward, like so. This one, of course, goes in the cross slot. And then we'll switch on. This equips Forza with the launcher module. Naturally, being the first cross module, it is blue to match with the uh, right legs port, and equips him with a 5 missile launcher. While normally this would be a weapon, in practical use this could be used to get rid of space debris that would otherwise impede the travel. For the cross shapes, it's got one on the front, and then two on the sides. Number three is the drill switch. This is a triangle switch, and is painted yellow in color. And this one is based on the engine key, or uh, an engine knob, for something like an industrial drill. And to activate this one, has an arrow indicating that you would turn it to uh, the right. Though from the front, it looks like you're turning it left. You'll insert that one in the triangle slot. And switch on. This equips towards it with the drill module. Which, rather than being something like a power drill, is more like a digging drill with a spiral pattern. This naturally would be very useful for mining on other plants. To find what kind of minerals would be on those plants, or could be found there. And for this one, the triangle shape is actually hidden within this spiral uh, kind of engine part, or motor part, as well as the uh, drill itself being somewhat triangular. Though this is one of the ones where it's really best used, well it's 
really more for just being equipped and then used than unequipped since it's one of those modules where he can't really quite stand on it. Number four is the radar switch. This one's a square switch and it's painted black in color. And this one is based on a radar tuning knob which activates by rolling it forward until it snaps into place. So insert in and switch on. This equips for it with the radar module, which attaches a radar dish to his left arm, and of course it's black to match the black color of the left arm's port. This one is useful for both communications, as seen by the rectangular screen, and for navigation since it's a radar. Number 5 is, of course, the magic hand switch. This is, no, is a circle switch that's painted magenta in color. And this is one you guys have recently uh, been reintroduced to thanks to my OML CSP review. And this one is the most simple, but also the one that most matches the astronaut theme, being based on a toggle switch for a space shuttle, which moves back and forth similar to the activation switches, or the power-up switches, for the belt. Switch on. This equips Forza with the Magic Hand module. This gives him a robotic arm, similar to the one seen on space shuttles, which is used to uh, basically attach module, the real kind of modules from one place to another, and is also used on space stations. And this is definitely one of the more useful modules, as this has a long reach and various joints, as well as the claws on the end, which can both grip and turn. For this one, the circles are here, and here. Six is the camera switch. This is based on the shutter to an old film camera. So you press down to activate and then flick this to the side to deactivate. Switch on. This equips Forza with the camera module, which is based on a news camera, which makes sense since this would be used for recording fit footage of an astronaut's travels. And, as shown in the show, this can also relay footage, meaning with this, it'd be possible to send the recorded footage directly back to the base on Earth, rather than recording it and then having to wait until the astronaut returns to Earth in order to deliver it. And for this one, the cover for the lens is rectangular in shape. Number seven is the parachute switch. This is a square switch that's painted green and is based on the pull tab to a parachute. So naturally, to activate, you pull up. Switch on. This equips Forza with the parachute module, which is this box attached to his arm, and obviously being a box, all, f all of its sides are square in shape, or have four corners. And so this, actually instead of containing one parachute, contains three, and naturally this would be used for returning to Earth, 
which has been shown in the series, such as uh, basically when he uh, fights a monster in space, he'll return him back to the surface of Earth using this module. Number eight is the chainsaw switch. This is a cross switch painted light blue and is based on the pull tab to an electric chainsaw. So to activate, you throw it up like so. Though on a chainsaw, you would pull this part, but there's no cord. Switch on. This is for it with the chainsaw module, which of course is a is a heavy duty chainsaw, which can fold down over the foot like so. And well, this one would also uh, first be seen as a weapon. This could be used in cases of emergency, in such a situation as someone being trapped in a ship's airlock or a space station airlock. With this, it could cut through the metal to rescue the person. Number 9 is the hopping switch. This is a triangle switch that's made pink in color and seems to be based on a spring loaded button that can be pressed to activate and then pressed again to deactivate, though that's not the case here as you just press in to activate. And ironically, this doesn't have any springs in it. Switch on. Is equipped sort of with the hopping module, which does take the form of a pogo stick. Though silly in appearance, this can also be seen as quite useful, since for astronauts, when traveling on the surface of other planets or moons, they'll often jump to gain distance, and since this is spring powered, and this lets them jump higher, it also lets them go further than they could on their own. As you can see, it does have quite a strong looking coil to it. So this could give a lot of bounce and spring. Before moving on to the last switch, just wanted to point out that for the chainsaw module, the cross shape is the pipes here. And for the hubbing module, the triangle shape is here on the port. And finally, number 10 is the leg switch. This is a circle switch, as painted gold on top. Though this is also the first state switch. And what makes these unique is that the body color changes to be a different clear color. Where most of the regular switches are clear black, the state switches are uh, brighter clear colors that, meet, that match the forms that they are used for. So in this case, this is a clear yellow color, and it's based on a breaker switch. To activate, you flip it forward like so. So, put in the slot, and switch on. This equips Forza with the Elect module, nicknamed Billy the Rod, and changes him into Elect State. Now the reason it does that is because this is an energized switch and energized module. So, it the suit needs to change to another state in order to make use of it and not be affected by electricity running through here. So it changes to an insulated suit and, in a very clever move, because of all the electricity, it gets electroplated and turns gold. This also changes the appearance of his face with an electric pattern running through it. it gives him pantographs on the sides of his head 
and on the port right here and also gives him these kind of generators along his shoulders you know the idea here is basically like using a rubber glove to avoid getting shocked and of course we have the like module Billy the Rod however I'll show you guys that once I like take a look at the deluxe toy so here we have Billy the Rod now while most people initially believe this to be based on a nightstick or a stun baton this is actually based on an electrode or something called a ground rod which is used in actual systems here on earth where multiple ground rods are stuck into the ground and then connected together with wires and that is for electrical systems so that because they're grounded they don't uh, basically overheat or uh, overcharge and so this could be used practically to absorb uh, absorb excess electricity within a rocket ship or protect against electric storms and thanks to this cord it can also be diverted and then redirected in one of three ways by using it to stun shooting it out or similar to what this is based on in real life redirecting that electricity back into the ground and in conjunction with the elect switch can be used for a limit break And there you have it. As you can see, the first nine astro switches allow Forza to accomplish a lot of the basic tasks that astronauts have to do on their travels. And so it makes sense that these would be the first nine. And you have the elect switch, which is very cleverly done as it actually does take into account real science and the real way that electricity is used and how it could be used in space. So once again, these switches are very cleverly done. And of course, that's not the end. So, look forward to the next time, or to the next segment, where we'll take a look at the next 10 switches, which lead up to Fire State. And, for the next review, I'll be re reviewing the Chozetsu Shogu Changer from Nin Ninja. So, if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, or share it. You can check me out on, on Facebook at facebook.com slash krx50. And for now, this is krx50, blasting off.